guys, it's Bryony Rose here and for today's video I thought I would do a lovely sit down video. Haven't done one in a while, or what feels like a while anyway. And I kind of, yeah, I just thought this was the kind of vibe I wanted to go with. Um, I've done a lot of vlogs lately or like reaction videos. So I thought let me go back to a lovely good old sit down video. So I asked you guys on my Instagram what videos you want me to do. And um, some of you suggested for me to do a more full length stage door video. And that's kind of what I thought would be really interesting to do today. So if you don't know what stage door is, stage door is essentially the door where cast and crew enter through to get in and out of the theatre. However, stage door and like actually stage door in are like technically two different things. So stage door is like the door, stage door in is the act of essentially waiting outside after a show and meeting the cast. I think that's, that's a, is that a good definition? I'm gonna go with that as a definition. I don't actually know if there's a definition for stage door and I'm pretty sure it's not even in the dictionary. I don't actually think it's a word, but I feel like we've all decided stage door in is a word, but I don't actually think it's a word. Anyway, so yeah, that's what stage dooring is. I've been very fortunate, I've stage doored a lot, um, especially at six. So this video is going to be like six stage door because I'm like reasonably experienced with six stage door. Um, maybe in the future I'll do stage door of like other shows, but for six specifically, I feel like that's where I'm like my strengths at. So I thought for today's video, I will give you some tips and tricks of how to stage door successfully at the arts theatre so tip number one um so i guess for tip number one is make sure you book the right show so i feel like this is probably the most important one because i know i've had a lot of people like messaging me like oh like i went to a show and they didn't stage door and like also let me like put a little disclaimer i don't work for six i don't work for the arts theatre so everything i say obviously is taken out of my own experience it's not like actual facts so like don't take everything literally but like of what I've learned and like the experience I've got these are kind of things that I thought are helpful um, but it may not always work so don't take my word for it. So six have a schedule and essentially some days they will do one show which will be like an 8pm and other days they will have two shows. So I thought I'll read you out the schedule in case you're interested um, but on Tuesdays, Wednesdays and Fridays it's 8pm on um, Thursdays it's 6pm and 8.30pm on Saturdays it's 4pm and 8pm and on Sundays it's 4pm and 7pm. So when you've got a two show day it works slightly differently because on normal days when they have one show the show will run at let's say 8 and the show's like 80 minutes long and then they sh will or potentially stay short afterwards. However when there's a two show day a lot of them perform on both shows so they'll still be in costume, they'll still be like obviously ready to go on so they can't stage door when they've got such little time in between essentially they just grab a snack they eat they like stay within their dressing room and they won't always come out so in terms of this i always recommend if you're going to a show regardless of which production always check the schedule before you book the show timings are always online just check the website these also fluctuate around like time so like at christmas time there's a different christmas schedule so i always recommend if you're going to book your tickets just check on the website and just have a look to see what time shows they've got um because you don't want to make the mistake of booking like a matinee where they may not have time to come out but that being your only show so when me and izzy went to boston we had to do the matinee show otherwise we would have been on the coach until like 4 a.m in the morning but obviously we then didn't get to stage door because they didn't come out so i just always recommend tip number one is check the schedule and try and get a show if you want a stage door where stage door is an option so tip number two for stage door successfully is always bring something to like get signed so for me i've always found like my hardest fear when stage dooring is like starting off the conversation and it being slightly awkward because i don't really know what to say so if you're someone who is quite shy or you don't really have like you don't really know what to say to them i always recommend bring something like a program or a poster or something that can like start off a conversation because you'll tend to find a lot of people obviously stand at stage door to get something signed so if you're holding something and you've like you've already got something there it makes it a lot easier to start the conversation because as they sign then you can be like oh you're really good and it just i feel like it gets it going like you probably want stuff signed anyway but i never used to get stuff signed when i used to go so i used to kind of just stand there 
and I found then it was more awkward because I was like trying to make up conversation which I was very bad at doing um and I just actually learned over time it's a lot easier to just bring something to get signed and also it's great to have signed things it's really cool but um yeah it, I feel like it always just helps the situation a little bit more and it makes it a lot less awkward because generally I've had such awkward stage door experiences I may actually do a video at some point like a separate video where I talk about my awkward stage door experiences because I have so many and oh gosh just thinking about them they're awful but yeah let me know if you think that'd be a fun video you guys would want to see because i'm totally be up for doing that um but yeah i've learned now after stage drawing a lot of times with six being i think i've stage drawn six at least like 15 times that is always better or like easier to bring something like a program because i find it just breaks the like awkwardness that i find i always get when I'm talking to them, especially for the first time. So if you go like quite a few times and you've stayed with all multiple times, then you don't probably need to as much like bring a program or whatever. But especially for the first time, I always find it the easiest thing to do. So tip number three is bring a friend with you. So obviously I stress a lot about going to the theatre on your own. I think it's an amazing thing to do. It really helped me when I was getting into theatre by going on my own because I had no friends who was into theatre at all. However, if you're really struggling with stage drawing and you find it really stressful, I always recommend bring a friend. It makes stuff way less scary if you've got a friend with you. And I find then talking to like someone like a queen a lot easier when I've got someone next to me who like makes me feel so much more comfortable and so much more confident and I found actually when I was going to six for the, like the first few times I found it incredibly stressful especially when I was on my own I was like oh my gosh this is like so awkward what do I say what do I do but like when I met Izzy it became so much easier because we can just stand next to each other and we gave each other support so I always recommend like bring a friend and actually or like bring a parent so like when Izzy hasn't come sometimes I just drag my mum along because my mum's great actually to be fair my mum is so confident she'll just like talk to them like it's nothing and I'm just there like oh my gosh how do you do this tip number four is plan what you're going to say so obviously you don't have to plan what you're going to say but if you're someone like me who as soon as they get slightly stressed forgets everything I always find this really helps so what me and Izzy will sometimes do is when the show finishes and we're waiting like for stage door we will always kind of go through to each other what we're going to say to each of the queens so usually we have like something will stand out in the performance for example like how amazing their song was how amazing their dancing was just like kind of things that we saw and things that we were like whoa and blown away by um, and we kind of like drop them in our heads and like just before we see them because obviously usually based on like where the stage door is like they go along the line we'll think to ourselves okay we know like they're coming up and then we'll think to each other we'll be like what are we gonna say and i always find like just pre-planning stuff like obviously stage door is really not that big of a deal you don't have to pre-plan stuff you can literally just be like hi you were great but if you particularly want something to come across in a way you don't want to just like panic and then say something random i always find just kind of having an idea of what you're going to say quite helpful i know this is obviously a bit different in my case because i vlog so in order like because i vlog i need to like say a bit more than like hi you're great because obviously it's kind of more of a conversation however i still feel like this applies to everyone that if you're not too sure like like if you feel like you're not going to be someone who can just like start something straight away because I generally if I didn't plan what I was going to say and they come up to me I would just not know at all what I was going to say I'd just be like you were great and that's it like I'm so I'm quite bad at like thinking of things on the spot so I was fine like even the five minutes after the show ends while it's still in your head be like oh my gosh like Natalie's riff was amazing I love the emotion that she portrayed like I always have stuff that I've really enjoyed from the show and I want to like say back to them and I always find like having an idea or like going over in my head what I'm going to say really helpful tip number five is make sure you know their names so this is something that i've learned over time how important it is to know someone's name so i find like i've gone to i've gone to stage drills where i've not known someone's name and like obviously six is a lot easier because there's less people like, in the cast to know but it's always helpful when you know someone's name and you know who they play and it's quite simple to find out if you have a program or like you go onto the website and stuff all the cast is there especially like six has a cast board just have a like reasonable browse at like who's there and then i find it's quite helpful because then when you're talking to 
them you can like you can like say their name or you can show that you know who they are and i think it really helps like the conversation flow when you know who someone is and you can like talk to them like oh i i know who you were kind of vibe um i've gone to a stage door before oh god what an embarrassing story which i'll probably say if you guys want me to do this like embarrassing stage door experience video um but i went to a stage door and i went up to someone and just forgot their name and just was like ah what do i say and i've honestly after that day it's made me like decide to myself i'm never forgetting someone's name when i meet them <laughs> but especially when i go to new shows i always just check through the program just to make sure i know who the person i'm speaking to is so i think it's really nice to build a connection with them as a person as opposed to them as a character so obviously at six you wouldn't go to like jj hello arrogant because that's not her at stage door she's herself so it's always nice to like say their name or like show that you know who they are so tip number six is always make sure you stand in a good place for stage door so stage door is sometimes super super busy sometimes is it quite a bit more like calm but you never really know so if it is really busy i always recommend try and stay indoors so essentially if you've never been to the arts before the arts foyer is like tiny and then some people stand outside and essentially there's like a barrier like a purple rope that goes across the foyer where you would stand like behind and then outside the theatre people kind of just stand to their own selves so there's no like ropes outside but once the foyer fills up obviously then it's filled so you have to wait outside but i always recommend if you come out and the foyer isn't filled to always stay in the foyer i say this especially in the winter months because me and izzy always fluctuate where we stand we sometimes stay in the foyer we sometimes go outside we actually miss natalie i think the one of the times we went when vicky was on she came out but she only stayed in the foyer and then she went back in again because obviously it's cold it's dark it's pretty miserable in london like so i think it's really helpful to like stay inside the foyer so what's great about the foyer is that like you get better lighting because the lighting's like obviously on so like it's so much better photos um you get to listen to more six music because they always play the six soundtrack in there and also the ushers are all that and they're like so so funny so like my group that I always go to six with, um, we have our favourite usher, Mary. And um, I don't really know how we came across Mary. I think I must have been vlogging one time and she was in the background. And then, like, it became this trend that we would, like, keep seeing her when we went. But she's literally the sweetest person ever. She's so funny. And she, we, when I'm always, like, singing and stuff, she's always, like, in the background, like, pumping out some moves, singing some songs. And you only get that if you're in a foyer. So that's my reason why you should be in a foyer. So you can see Mary. So yeah, there are my tips for stage dooring. I feel like stage dooring has changed so, so much since I was younger, especially in like some shows. Like I've never experienced stage door like six before. It sometimes can get completely hectic. I went to last show and it literally stage door was the most manic thing I've ever experienced. And I told myself I'm never stage door at six again. And then it calmed down and then I was like, okay, it's not so bad. Um, but especially I think if you're someone who really suffers with um social anxiety because this is something i also deal with and also i don't really touch too much on my channel but i find it very stressful being in like very busy places with lots of people and like having to make all these conversations with people i'm a bit of a mess and i've always found like the most helpful tips for me are these ones i've definitely improved a lot on stage door i think it also comes down to like just experience so like i think I'm so much different at stage door now than I would have been when I first started going in like I think it was like a year ago because when you get when you go like a few times you get to know the cast a bit better you kind of understand how the theme of like stage door works like how much less stressful it is once you do it a few times um but yeah I really hope these tips are like helpful for you stage door is really fun I always recommend you do it obviously like if you've got like a train to catch after a show and you can't then like make sure you catch your train because trains are like more important than the stage door but I think stage door is like such a big part of like going to the theatre like I feel like obviously like the show is like I would say the show is like 60% of it stage door is like 40% of like the whole like theatre experience I think stage door is such a great way just to like congratulate and like appreciate the amazing performers and like getting to see them like out of character I always find amazing but yeah we all have to start somewhere and I definitely feel like I wouldn't be at the confidence I am now at stage door if it wasn't for all the little baby steps I took over the last year in terms of building my confidence at stage door and I definitely feel like a lot of the things that helped me was just building up 
up slowly. So like the first time I went, I did like throw myself in having conversations. I literally just stood back and wouldn't speak. I've gone to shows before where I have not even staged door and I've just stood there. And I feel like it's all this kind of like taking little steps and then you'll get to the point where you feel a lot more confident and then it won't feel as bad. So I really hope that if you guys are ever planning to go to theatre or like six, that you try out stage door. It's really good fun. And I hope this video has helped you in some way. If you did like this video, please give it a like and subscribe. And thank you so much for all the new subscribers. I really appreciate it. It's been kind of crazy. Like, the journey of YouTube is being kind of mental at the moment. So, thank you so much for joining me on my journey. And I will catch you guys soon. Also, make sure you follow me on Instagram. I, like, put up a lot of, like, polls on there for, like, video ideas. And just, like, daily theatre content. So, if you like theatre give it a follow. Ping! Um, and I'll catch you guys for a new video soon. Bye!